Hi guys, it's Richard and today I've got a haul here. I've just been back from CEX in air. So let's get started. So first off, I've got the new Halloween. The 2018 Halloween. It's about time as well because this came out some months ago in the UK. Really looking forward to seeing it. And then um, I've already got this film, but this is the director's cut. Demons. This is a good film. But I've never ever seen the director's cut. Next up is the Return of Living Dead. I already have this, but it's the old version, and this is the second sight one with both discs. Good film. Next up, oh, I just love this. It's a melt movie. It's a uh, the stuff. This has been released by Arrow, but I love the simple stuff. I will get the Arrow once I once I. When the fateful day comes, I buy a Blu-ray player. The stuff. Um, slugs. This has also been released by Arrow. But I don't... It's only on Blu-ray. You know. It's a bit, a bit expensive for Blu-rays. Rats. This is like a really bad B-movie. I've never heard of it. Never seen it. Maybe gonna watch it later. Um, hell comes Frogtown. Roddy Piper's in this. He was also in They Live. He was a wrestler. Rest in peace. But it's just a really bad B movie. Right, this one I'm a bit hesitant to watch because it's been banned and um, the pictures on the back is a bit incredibly like, disturbing, so I can't really show you much. It's not like weird, like weird, weird, but then it's called Unhinged. This has been banned. But, oh, look at the back covers. It, there's blood everywhere. You know, a little bit of glue on me. Can't, you can't go wrong with it. Unless it's hostile or so. That's way too much. But Mine Ripper. This has been presented by Wes Craven, so I decided to get it. You see, um, I took some stuff to CEX that I didn't want anymore, and actually I, I saved money because you can get a store credit. Which is, I got fifty. I got fifty pounds in store credit, so I got all this. So technically, like, I just been recycling. That's what that's what cake is all about. But anyway, mind ripper. This disc. Entry, but the covers look weird. But okay, here's a couple of Vip cool films. The house at the edge of the park. Okay. It's. This is also banned, and uh, it's Italian as well, but it's an English language option or either. But looking forward to it, it's only on for 76 minutes, so it's just like a quick movie or something. Uh, Night of the Demon, this is the one from 1980 I think, the, the Bigfoot guy. Yeah, Night of the Demon, just a normal vocal disc. So that, that's all the horror films for that. There's the comedy. Only with horror and comedy. It's the two mix. Then Drop Dead Fred. People say it's one of the worst films of the 90s, but I love it. It's hilarious. This series just ended and I've done made a video on it, but uh, still game. i uh, got seasons one to five. If you're not from Scotland and have an all region player, Definitely get this because it is hilarious. You might not get some of the humour, but if you do, you should sure love this. Next up, this is another UK one. It was The Young Ones. My mother said that this was hilarious. And also, I went up because Rick Mills in it and Adrian Edmondson. I love the TV show Bottom. Next up is The is the Bottom. Apparently, like the Bottom movie, but Rick Mills and Adrian Edmondson didn't see it. It was. But Guest House parody, so... so I haven't seen it, but it's supposed to be, I mean, it's meh, but it's supposed to be hilarious. Simon Pegg's in it as well, so it's Bill Nye, who's both of them in Shaun of the Dead. Next up is Bottom, Mindless Violence. This is like, basically Rick Mail and Adrian Edmondson beating each other up, like, like, all the time. So basically it's from Young Ones, Bottom, Filthy Rich and Cat Flap, The Dangerous Rivers, and The Comic Strip. All that. Next up, we have the, this is the complete season of Bottom. So, Bottom seasons, 
Series 1. Series 2. And Series 3. So, all that was about £58 in actual money, but I got store credit and Kex, so it basically cost me nothing. And store credit, I had a wee voucher thing, got a gift voucher. But anyway, I'm still game, I didn't get from Kex, and I didn't get Guest House Paradiso from Kex, so that, so f all, all together, this stuff would have cost about 5 99 or 5 so that'd be a, like 10 99 for, for Guest House and Paradiso and still game together, so it's great. See you later, guys.